Boys and girls, today I'm going to show you on this video how we continue our uh, line design, but this time we're going to be using crayons. But first, let's talk about what we did last time. Last time in art, <clears throat> we used a marker to make all different kind of lines on our papers. But the kind of lines we learned about were horizontal and vertical and diagonal, wavy and zigzag. So everybody should have all these lines on their paper like this with a marker, even though you might have used a different marker than I did. And your lines can look a little different than mine because we all draw different, but everybody should have all those lines on their paper. And then we used our marker to connect all these lines together so that they can hold hands. So now I'm gonna show you the next step. And the next step is using crayon. So we're gonna use one crayon at a time and we're gonna color in each shape with a different color. So first I'm going to start with red crayon and I'm going to color this shape right here. These purple lines tell me where to stop because I'm coloring only this shape and not any other shapes. So I'm going to start by coloring nice and neat from side to side or up and down. I'm not leaving any white spots in this shape. I'm coloring in the whole shape. And then I can stop. I don't want to color anywhere else over here. I don't want to color up here with the red or over here because I only color in this shape, okay? Now I'm going to use a different crayon. When it's time to use another shape, you choose a different crayon. So now I'm gonna use green. So I'm gonna find a shape that I want to color. Looks like it's this one right here I'm gonna do next. And I do the same thing. I color nice and neat. I press down so that I don't leave any white spots. And am I done? No, I'm not. I gotta keep going because my purple lines tell me that I have to color all this in with the green and I stop right here. So I could go up, color next to this wavy line. and I'm still not done. Now I'm done with that shape. I didn't color any other shapes because my purple lines told me to stop right here. Now I'm going to use blue. And I'm gonna color in right here. So can I just color over here like this? No, I cannot. I have to stay inside this shape. Just like a coloring book. Am I done? No, I'm not done. I have to keep going. And I have to stop right up here. I can't go past this line. I gotta stay right here. But I can go down a little bit and color right here. And then I'm done with the blue. Even this little bitty shape right here, I have to color it a different color, like orange. So every time there's a new shape, use a different color. Now if you really like a color and you, you wanna use it again, you can use it again. So I use orange and I'm gonna use it somewhere else. I'm gonna pick a spot that's far away like right over here. So you don't wanna put colors close together. I don't want my two oranges to be close together. I want them to be far away. So I'm gonna use it over here. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm gonna keep going until I color in all of these shapes with a different crayon. But I'm gonna show you one more step that's a very big step that's very important. So I'm gonna get a purple ready, and I'm gonna show you, once you get close to finishing, this is what you might see. You're gonna color all the shapes on the inside, but don't forget about coloring all this part too, okay? This is a large part, so when you get towards the end, you might have this spot to cover, okay? So I'm gonna start coloring right here because we can't leave any white spots on our paper, huh? We have to color the whole thing in. So I'm gonna start coloring. And you can see, this is gonna be a big shape. Let's 
So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the paper. And I stop right here. I leave this little triangle alone because I'm going to color that a different color. Am I done yet? No, because I still have all this. So I'm going to keep going. This one's taking a long time, but that's okay. I know that you'll work hard if that happens to you. Okay, now I might think I'm done, but I'm not. Because look, I don't have a purple line to tell me to stop, so I gotta go all the way down here now. All the way, and I stop right here right here and color this in nice and neat now I'm still not done I gotta go back to the top and keep going and I'm gonna keep coloring all this in until I get a line that tells me to stop so it looks like I'll stop up here so I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna color in next to this zigzag line down here Now I'm almost done with this shape. This one's taking me the longest. I'm almost done. I'm very close, but I'm not done yet. So I'm going to keep going right here. Now, can I stop right here? I can stop right here, okay? Watch. That's where I stop. Now I'm going to go back and color in all these little white spots that I left to make it look my very, very best. We always try our best. And since I stopped there, now my next shape can be a different color. So I'm going to use yellow. And I'm going to, I can start coloring this yellow, okay? I'm not going to finish it because I think you know what to do now. I'm going to turn the lights off so you can see it in a different way. So you see how I'm coloring every shape with a different color. So I'm going to keep going with my yellow just to show you a few, little bit more. So that you can start on yours. So can I stop yet? No, I'm not done. I gotta go all the way till my purple line tells me to. Tells me to stop right here. Now the yellow's finished. Okay, but I'm not done with my picture. I'm gonna keep coloring this. But let me show you one that is finished. This one is finished. Every single shape is colored in. There's no shapes that are left white. Okay, they're all finished with different colors. And if I use the same color, I put them far apart, like this yellow and this yellow. They're not close together. So you can color two things the same color if they're not close together. So go ahead and you're gonna use your crayons to color each shape in till the whole thing is finished like this.